students quickly wanted to update you about the automatic DPP generator about which Aryan Raj Singh has been after me. I convinced JP sir, he has created this technology and I'll tell you how to use it. But first of all, it is available in full course, single subject course, achievers batch and inspire batch, right? That is the first thing. Second thing is how to use it, how to use it, how to use it. That is the most important thing. What I've told you is when you write mock test, when you write mock test, very good. You complete your syllabus for the mock test, right? Second thing that you do is 15 to 20 hours of revision. After mock test, you do postmortem. Postmortem tells you what, uh, what your weak areas are and then you fix your weak areas before next mock test, right? This is what we do. To fix these weak areas, use this TPP. This is the purpose. Specific topics you are struggling with, go to DPP section. I will tell you how to do it. Select specific topics and do questions on that. That is how you will improve your performance. You will not improve your performance by doing questions in which you are already comfortable in. You will improve your performance. You will improve your mock test score by focusing on things in which you are weak. And that is the purpose of DP, uh, DPP generator. This will help you fix your weak areas. This will help you fix your weak areas, right? And this will be available in the app in 10 days. It is only available on needprep.com right now. If you have joined any of these things, you have access to needprep.com and uh, this is available on needprep.com only. It will be available on the app in 10 days, but on the app, downloading PDF option is not going to be there ever like it is not there in mock test. That option would only be available on needprep.com. So let me tell you how to generate this DPP. All right, students. So come to course content. Go to chapter DPPs. Very good. And click on create DPP. Okay. So let's say uh, you go to botany. And in botany, you struggle with this chapter, Molecular Basis of Inheritance. Very good. Now, in this, you struggle with problems of DNA fingerprinting, DNA replication, and human, human Genome Project. Create DPP. So this DPP is generated. This is going to be for 30 questions. Print PDF. And this is generator for you. Nice and fresh for you, right? It is not like a DPP is generated by the platform for all the students, the same DPP. No, everyone can generate on their own based on what their weak areas are. You should know what your weak areas are and use this DPP feature to fix your weak areas. So this is what I wanted to tell you. I'm very excited about this. Hopefully you are also excited. You are going to take the maximum benefit out of it. But students, please understand this. You have to work hard. We will keep providing you things which will help your preparation. But ultimately, it comes down to your preparation. So I want in the comment section to know from you. A, is it good or not? B, are you going to benefit from it or not? All right, students.